tuned because this is about to get hot. What's going on? This next song I'm getting ready to do here is requested by Mike Ullere. And Mike Ullere, Ullere wants me to do Nina Simone, Ain't Got No, I Got Life. That's what it says, so I'm getting ready to go right on into it. Here to go. Oh, it's actually her. Ain't got no home, ain't got no shoes, ain't got no money, ain't got no class, ain't got no skirts, ain't got no sweaters, ain't got no perfume, ain't got no love, ain't got no faith. I ain't got no culture. Ain't got no mother, ain't got no father, ain't got no brother, ain't got no children, ain't got no aunts, ain't got no uncles, ain't got no love, ain't got no mind. I ain't got no country, ain't got no schooling, ain't got no friends. quite confused at the beginning of this. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, wait a minute. She, everything she don't got, but then she turned around and was just start naming off stuff that she do have. And she seemed like she still started the stuff that she didn't have. Seemed like she said she got it. But I'm y'all know me. I'm not going to sit here in front and act like I knew everything that was going on. I have no idea what was going on during that era. 
Um, so artistically, from her standpoint, some of you guys will have a better idea of what she was conveying through what she was saying than my understanding as of right now. But I'm pretty sure you guys are going to kick in like y'all always do and let me know what was going on because I'd like to know. So I know y'all might say, dude, this is back in the Harlem era when X, Y, and Z was going on, which I don't know if it was during that era. But what I do know is that this song definitely has some feeling behind it, definitely some emotion behind it, almost like it was like a good feel depression, so to speak, if that even makes any sense. But anyway, um, I enjoyed it. I like the piano playing. I like the feel of the song. I'm talking about the music. Now, I'm not talking about the words to it and all that. I just really can't really... Uh, Lay it out there because it went from being not having nothing to having something. But then I don't know if that's actually the way she was singing it. It's like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. But no, I know she was probably got my hands, got my lips, got my mouth, got my teeth, got my tongue, got my liver. Start naming everything that she do have. So I don't know. I'm not going to jump into this act like I know what it was meaning or what she was talking about when she was saying what she's saying. So as of right now, that's my whole interpretation on what I felt from the song there. It was a good feeling depression like type thing at the same time like i said melancholy i guess you can call it so um anyway uh it's one of the things where if, if it was played slower then it would have definitely made it more sympathetic feeling whatever like or whatever you want to call it uh what's the word i'm looking for sentimental better yeah but since it was so dun 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 that right there just kind of made it like it was upbeat but then way yet when she was singing about the beginning was kind of like oh wow mm so this is a uh, bipolar music. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, you guys let me know what y'all think of this song right here. Let me know where you first heard it. Let me know what you thought of it then versus what you think of it now. Because some of you guys might have been very young when you first heard this and thought you knew what it was talking about. Then you got older. You're like, oh, this is what she was talking about. I don't know. If you were older when the song came out, did you understand what she was talking about? I got a lot of subs and all that stuff on here from different age ranges all the way from 13 all the way up to 90s and 101 or something like that. And i just like to know y'all take on it, which y'all probably ain't going to do. Leave it in the comment section. No, I'm just joking. But do leave it in the comment section or I'll kill you. No. I am Ty Smith, the modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus.